We just got finished training just now, and a student had a great question. Where's John? He said, I'm using the name John. There really isn't a John. It's someone else, because um, I'm not going to use this person's real name. I said, oh, he quit. He quit back in uh, November. Oh, well, I miss him. Where is he? I said, well, he's gone. He quit. Well, why? Well, that's a great question. A lot of people ask, why do people quit martial arts? There are so many reasons why people quit. Um, I like to ask why people stay. So what's the reason why people don't quit? To me, that's more important because I can only spend time with and care about the ones that stick around because I haven't left. So I'm, I'm more interested in training with the people that are here physically and that are committed. But why don't people quit? And a lot of students have the same answers. A lot of it has to do with passion, love. That's the number one reason. I love to do martial arts. I couldn't live without it. It's a calling. It's I meant to do it. I was born to do this. But that doesn't last forever. Even the people that were the most passionate I ever saw could burn out very quickly. Uh, I think one of the biggest, biggest motivators to stay motivated is money, believe it or not. People won't admit that, but when you pay a monthly fee towards your training group, your hall, your dojo, your membership, you are committing yourself financially to that endeavor. And that is actually a very powerful motivator is uh, signing up for something, whether it's a gym or a dojo. If you pay a monthly fee, a lot of the times when you're laying on the couch at home, you're saying, hey, I'm paying so much money every month for my membership. I better go use it. So you get off your, off your butt and you go and you go train for that night and you continue that. So money is a good motivator, believe it or not. Uh, love and passion is the number two reason. If you have fun at your martial arts, those are the people that don't quit. Um, if you're bored with your training, that means you're a boring person and you can't find the love and the depth in your martial art. Some martial arts have more depth than others. I've been in many dojos and some are quite shallow and, and after a year or two, you, the, you've seen the whole curriculum. It's impossible in Budo to even master one of our nine schools. We have a lineage that goes back a thousand years. So boredom for me doesn't exist. It's not possible for me to get bored with my training. Every single day I come into the dojo, I'm more excited than I was yesterday because there are so many puzzles to solve. There are so many weaknesses in my training that I can fix. So many strengths that I can enhance. Uh, it helps my mind physically. Every, every way I can imagine, it, it serves me. Plus, I'm helping other people. I'm, I'm part of something larger, so that's another reason people don't quit. They want to be part of a group. They don't want to just feel alone and by themselves all the time. I want to be part of a team. It's like being in the army. I want to be fighting for my country, so to speak. We're all on the same team. We're all healthy and professional and positive people. How often do you go to a place that's positive? These are all many reasons why people don't quit. They're hungry. They want to earn something. They want to master something. Although you can't master this, you can get really good at it. You can spend decades and never see the same technique twice. I've been doing this for 35 years, and I only took two breaks from it. And that was from back injuries that were caused by me training years ago. On st I was stupidly training and getting thrown in judo throws on a wooden floor. We didn't have mats. We were stupid in the 1980s. We trained in cement floors and gyms, up and down the gym floor, rolling hundreds of times. Roll to that side of the gym, roll back, get thrown on cement. We didn't have crash pads and even uh, heavyweight uniforms. We didn't have targets or anything. It was a stupid way to train because we were young and dumb. Now that we're older, we have beautiful facilities that we can train and we don't get injured as much. But the two times I was off for intensive back surgeries, uh, I was nervous to go back after the second one because I had taken about four or five months off to heal and I was very afraid to go back. It's very natural because you think people are going to uh, make fun of you or not accept you. You're afraid of uh, people going to surpass you in rank, which happens. You've got to get rid of all that. That's nonsense. It's, it was a complete waste of time. When I had the guts to walk through the dojo door, everyone was happy to see me. Oh, they missed me. All of my delusions in my head were completely false. I had lied to myself because your body will do that to make you quit things. Your body will make up all kinds of excuses that you know is a lie because it wants to make you doubt yourself so that you go back into your comfort zone and you never train again. 
Get rid of that. It's 2017. How many times, how many more videos are we going to watch? How many more books are we going to look at? How many more DVDs are we going to watch before we actually get off our butt and go train? I don't care where you go. Go to a local school. Travel across the country like I did. Leave whatever you need to do. Save the money. Uh, use your tax returns to sign up somewhere. But don't just be a watcher. You want to be a doer in life. Those are the ones I find are the most successful people and the people I want to be like. You don't have to do it. You can watch and be an armchair enthusiast all your life. You can be uh, an internet warrior who's only good at punching the keyboard and, and, and comment and rip people down because they're doing it. But for me, I don't waste my time. I'm here training, doing it every single day. And my motivation never changes. I change. The martial art does not. And it's going to be here regardless of whether I'm training or not. And people will surpass me if I don't train. So I'm going to continue my journey because I love it. I've been doing this since I was a child and I hope to do it until I'm six feet under. What's your passion? Why do you love the martial arts? And more importantly, what is stopping you? We know the answer. If I said who is stopping, it's always me. It's not my parents stopping me. It's not my girlfriend stopping me. It's not my friends. It's not my finances. It is the choices I'm making that are stopping me from actually training. And there is a huge difference between doing and watching. Go out and train. Go out and find a school. Talk to your sensei. Who have you lost contact with? Get a training group together in your garage. No one cares. Get out there and do it. Have fun and enjoy life while it's still in us.